guess the bus can like drive onto this pavement. So they have like food vendors, food trucks, such as this chili one right here. I ain't gonna eat that today though. Yeah. That might hurt my stomach. What How else are you? they got here? Good. Good. They got some oh, pizza. They got. So basically, 16th Street Mall is exactly what it is. It's a street, but it's also a mall. It's got stores. It's got a gym, you know, they got Planet Fitness something there. I mean, the, the shops here are pretty much the same, like over there in Illinois, so I guess it's a US thing. But it's pretty nice though. It's like a downtown area of Denver. Look how long the mall is. It's pretty long. I don't know why I'm the only one in the center though. Maybe I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I got everyone in my family some souvenirs. I got my mom and my daddy, my wife, most of my stepkids, I just need two of them. I need to find me a souvenir store. Not no Target, not, not no pharmacy. Uh, oh, you know what? I think I found one. Perfect. Oh, this is big. Oh, okay. More back there too. Okay, I found the store I needed. Now let me look around and see what I can find. Um, the only ones I have left is Lando and one of my grandbabies, which is Adrian. If you haven't noticed already, I'm in no longer in Colorado Springs. I am now in Denver. This Mexican grill must be pretty good to have a lime. I only have about an hour and a half to kill before I head out to the airport because I am leaving Colorado today and I'm going back to Chicago. Where's your, that's your tip bucket right there? Right. Oh, found me another souvenir store on my way. I'm not much of a city girl. I don't really um, hang out inside the city of Chicago that much either. I used to in my younger days just to go to the clubs and the bars and stuff, but that, that ain't my thing. So, although this is really nice and everything, it's just not my type of feel. I like that old town, old school, nature type of environment. There is a street like three minutes from here called Larimer Square, if I'm pronouncing it right. That's more my vibe, but I had to pick and choose which one I wanted to go to. So I chose this spot, but it's okay. I'm still feeling it. I'm probably gonna get me something to eat. I definitely need coffee before I head over to the airport because, ah, oh, the airport. I haven't had breakfast yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat breakfast at 1 p.m. Can I get the chorizo sunrise? You can have the sandwich, you just gotta choose, choose a different bagel. Oh, just the bagel itself? Uh, what's the most popular? I would say the next choice that we have is probably Asiago would be best. Okay, I'll get that. Oh. I'm not picky. And you do you do you have iced coffee? Can I, I get that? Like, uh, size medium, please. A cold press for you. Thank you. That shit was nasty. I will never drink coffee from there again. I went to Einstein Bros Bagels. I've never tried that place before. I decided to try it today. I will not be getting a beverage from there. So let's go ahead and get coffee somewhere else. Ooh, Angelina Venegas would love some of these. She likes these things. They have a liquor store down there. I don't know, I see a rainbow over there though, what that's about. All I want is coffee, that's all I want. Well, I found two coffee shops. What do you guys prefer? Starbucks coffee? Or caribou? I'm gonna go ahead and choose caribou. I think 
Wendy's easier to order than at Starbucks. Hey, how you doing? I am good. Do you have ice, uh, iced coffee, French vanilla? I can do a French vanilla iced coffee. Can I get that? Size medium? I've never been here, so I don't know how the coffee tastes. <laughs> Street Mall so you can take that ride anytime it'll take you straight down both sides so this is what I got it is chorizo egg and avocado looks good Let's see if it tastes good Surprisingly, the chorizo actually tastes like chorizo. It is 1.40. I gotta leave in 20 minutes. So overall, I think my four day trip in Colorado was well worth it. It was well needed. Cause I was going insane. I was so trapped in my head with this anxiety and depression. It was so bad. To the point where, I, honestly, I don't know what I was going to do. So I needed to get out of the environment that I was in mostly work related stuff like I just didn't it's just so much negativity around me that I need to do some type of change so coming here to Colorado was an escape for a little bit it's not an escape from my problems but it was an escape temporarily and I needed it just to keep my sanity but once I get home I am going to be applying to different jobs because I can no longer stay where I'm at and I think that plays a big part in my depression not only that, I mean, I've been depressed for a couple years. This is really bad lately. But many things played into it. Everyone's depression is different. Everyone has different reasons and why they got to the point that they are in now, mentally. As for me, it was, you know, losing my best friend of 19 years. Um, six attempts on trying to have a baby and failing every single time getting a negative pregnancy test every single time and the process it took each time was months of, of medications and the hormones just really fucked you up emotionally and it was such a struggle we spent like a good ten thousand dollars in that too a total because of the sperm donor too insurance covers a portion but they don't cover the sperm donors, so that comes out of pocket. And me not having any friends, I'm sure it plays a big part as well because, you know, I love my wife, I love my family, but you also have to have a life outside of that. And I really don't have that. For me, it was just work home, work home, work home. But I keep my circle very, very small, very, very small. And a couple of my friends were my cousins. And they're deep, deep into heroin addiction. So I pretty much lost them. They're not themselves anymore. One is locked up, so. And then I lost my other cousin to, um, unfortunately, at age 18 years old. So I lost him. And I lost my best friend a few years ago. So I don't really have that anymore. I do have one friend, but y'all, y'all, if you guys follow my videos, you already know who that is, Haiti. But she lives in Wisconsin, three hours from me, so we're rarely gonna see each other. And if you're wondering, I don't take medication, so I don't necessarily believe in it. So that's why I'm not, I'm not medicating myself um, for my depression or anxiety. Therapy helps. 
to that for three months. But when you're so depressed, <laughs> you don't want to get up from off the bed and go to your session, you know? And it was very emotionally draining. I would be in the session for a, an hour and every time I went, I cried from the beginning of the session to the end of the session. So I, obviously I need it. But, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about going back to it again. YouTube helps, that really helps. I have something to do when I come home. Keep me busy a little bit. I think it's sad that I really don't think people or many people care. I think they all care about themselves. They and I maybe I shouldn't say most, but I see a lot of people. All they care about is their wants, their needs, what others can do for them. And the reason why I say this is because I spent most of my life daily at my job. I spend more of my time with my job at my job than I do with my family. And it's so unfortunate that this year, from January to September, eight months, I've only called off one time. And in the last two months, I called off 11 days, okay? 11 times in the last two months. Obviously, something's wrong. Obviously. So it's, it's so fucked up that when you come back to work the following day, Nobody asks you if you're okay. I did have one person, and we don't even really talk. So I just, I just think that person was just being nosy. Not everyone calls off just because. I don't have to have a fever, I don't have to have a flu, I don't have to have a cold to call off work. If I'm mentally unstable, and I am mentally sick, which is, which is exactly what it is, depression is a mental illness, and it's always anxiety. I need to call off work. I can't be there. I can't be there because I will be moody and I will take it out on everyone and I will not want to work. I will not want to do anything. I just want to sleep. Depression really fucks up your life. And not that many people care. And that's just my experience. I hope if you're going through that, the same things that I am going through, I hope to God that you do have people around you that care and ask you how you're doing and not just ask you how are you just like a regular hello but like really how are you and if someone says I'm good but they don't look it their face doesn't match that really ask them again and they might open up to you they just need someone to talk to someone to vent well, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my meal and I'm gonna head out it's almost that time Just landed here in Chicago. Ugh. Oh look, look who's over there. That black truck right there. That's my wife and my family. Cutie. <laughs> look babe, I'm from Colorado. See my hat? <laughs> Hi cutie. <laughs> but then hey. it rained. I mean it's oh, snowing. Look at Ella. Look at her mouth wide open. <laughs> It's the grandbaby. Her mm -hmm. mouth's wide open. She just showered, that's why too, so she's like nice and fresh. <laughs> Go ahead, babe. <laughs> oh no. My dog. I'm about to see Gizmo right now. I hope he remembers me. I hope he missed me. I don't know. We'll see. <gasps> Hi, my boy. Hi, my boy. Hi, you're gonna fall. Be careful. Hi, baby. Hey, my boy! Hi, you should give him! Oh, give me kisses! Thank you! I'm talking softly because I'm about to go to bed and it's it's just sleeping time. By the way, guess what I forgot at the hotel in Colorado? My $300 retainers. Yes. Out of everything I could have left, I left my damn retainers. And I won't be able to get it back until a week from now. So I hope my teeth don't shift because I just got those just recently. I just got off braces recently. So I don't know how that works with if teeth shift that quickly early on or not. I don't know. But let me not stress. Let me not think about it. 
and we just try to get some sleep. At least they were found. All right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching um, my four-day journey video. I really appreciate y'all. I've been reading all the comments, and I'm so happy to see that um, people who are relating to me, to my story, can also talk about their story and are open to it. I am thankful for that. And we're a, we're a big community, so if you see other comments and you can relate to their story, please reply to their comments as well because everybody needs somebody to talk to. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace.